and go. Okay, for today's lab, we're going to do what we call the hopper popper lab. This is a hopper popper. You guys have probably seen some of these when you were kids. This is a super strength hopper popper, so it's gonna hop a little higher than it did when you guys were kids. And the idea behind the hopper popper lab is conservation of energy. So we're gonna do work on the hopper popper. And when I do work, I apply a force over a displacement. And what I did was I added spring potential energy to our hopper popper. So there is now energy stored in my hopper popper because of the work that I did onto the hopper popper. I'm gonna drop this down. And when I drop it down, that spring potential energy is gonna convert into kinetic energy at the bottom because it starts moving upward. And then as it gains height, it gains gravitational potential energy and it loses some velocity, so it loses its kinetic energy. So once again, I do work on the hopper popper. It gets converted into spring potential energy. I drop the hopper popper and it goes from kinetic energy and then it goes to gravitational potential energy. And we're gonna solve for those energies today in our lab. So the first data we need to obtain is the inverted distance of our hopper popper. So if I turn this inside out, we're gonna measure the pop distance is what we call this in our lab. So we're gonna measure the pop distance. So if we get eye level with the hopper popper, it looks to be about 1.2 centimeters. And when we convert that into meters, that would be 0 0.012 meters. Okay, 0 0.012 meters for the pop distance. Okay, the next thing we need to do is obtain the mass of our hopper popper. So once again, we'll put that on our balance, which is going to be in grams. So our hopper popper has a mass of 20.9 grams. And then when we convert that into kilograms, that would be 0 0.0209 kilograms. Okay. And then what's the third thing we need to get? The last thing we need to obtain is the distance that the hopper popper is jumping up to because then we can solve for the gravitational potential energy of the hopper popper at the highest point. Okay. Let's do that. So what we have right here are three meter sticks stacked one on top of each other. So each one of these is a meter to a total of three meters. And we're gonna determine how high the hopper popper is going to pop. So our pop distance over here. And I'm gonna stand on a chair over here. Um, and then we're gonna look somewhere in this region over here because this is where our hopper popper will hop up to. So we're gonna drop it. And it looked to go about two meters. So it, just between our two and our three meter meter stick, it looked to go about two meters. So our hop distance would be two meters. So now we have our pop distance, we have the pop height, um, and we have the mass of our hopper popper. So now we can solve for those different types of energy conversions.